What up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sal, back at it with another live stream. And we're going to be on Mad24, continuing our epic... And we are 10 and 0. we're playing... So, we just let me just do something real quick. We do that. Should be part of my Jags franchise playlist. Yup. Let's just get into it. Nasty odd oh, Jesus Christ. It's Madden NFL 24, and this one features Trevor Lawrence. I can make my neck do some disgusting shit. Oh, it's the Jags and the Texans, and it's coming up next. I'm just gonna put my headphones away. Got a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open, and we've got football for NRG State. And we are underway from NRG Stadium in Houston. On the return, it's Washington. And he'll go down almost hit that hole smoothly. Would have been crazy if I did. Would have been scary for Houston. Does Houston have like anything? No, they got like nothing on the D line or anything. Hmm. I don't feel like now is the best blocking. Dude, what the fuck? Go offensive guard. Okay, what, what the fuck is the point of having gunslinger, you piece of shit? Yo, yeah, let's have gunslinger to have faster throwing animations just to not throw the ball. What's the even. Dude, like, you might as well have no fucking abilities. Yeah, there's Michael Pittman. Oh, there's my boy ETN. Oh, guess who's back? The last couple games. Like, when my first, like, almost the first half of the year, this guy was tearing it up. But he's. But he has slowed down tremendously. But we're trying to get that run game going. Run game is still very good. It's just not what it was for most of the for like the first half of the year. So we're gonna try get it back to what it was. Like I can pass like 300 yards, 400 yards every game, but like. If I can't run the ball efficiently, it's not good. I could have rack catch that. But I just didn't have the faith there. Should have, though. I absolutely should have. Okay, let's see. Jeez, this guy. Who, who's that? Who's number five? Well, I, I, is that is that gonna? Okay, 
ETN somehow gets hurt, he gets injured on something where he... What? Dude. Uh, like I'm fucking saying, like, what's the point of having Gunslinger? Dude, Gunslinger is for faster passing animations. Dude, like, dude, there was nobody there. Literally, like, when I already threw the ball, there was nobody. How on, like, Trevor Lawrence is... I don't understand this game. Okay, I did possession catch. You didn't want to go down, but they already held on to it. Well, that's our superstar uh, receiver. Dude. How's how's he dislocate his shoulder on that? Well, it looks like we're just gonna pass the ball all game because if Travis Etienne isn't carrying the ball, then there's no point. I'm not gonna try to run with Tank Riggs, but he's not good on this game. Well, actually, I got like 100 yards like a couple games ago with him, but like that's when Etienne got hurt last. But I also gave him the ball like 20 times, maybe more. Like, you probably average like three or four yards a carry, which isn't bad. But when you're getting that many carries a game. Can't even get to the guy I want. Now I'm stuck on a lineman. Good defense from Asante Samuel Jr. We're just going to play off Nick Bowling right here. And that can be intimidating when you think about it in those terms, but I think what they need to do... <gasps> There's no way! No way he throws that over the middle and he just... Threw, and that... Nah. Nah, fam. We're doing me dirty. Nah, dog. That's crazy. Gang around him. And it'll be Jaguar football as they take over deep in their own territory. Well, let's let's see what Tank Bigsby's got. Next play, of course. I just threw it right at him. Should have been picked. Absolutely deserved to be picked off. Why the hell? What? It's not like there's a run coming. See, dude, Tank Bigsby is just fucking dog shit. Dude, if that was Travis Etienne, he would have exploded through that hole for a massive gain. Still doesn't change, you know, he's got a 13 yard run. That doesn't change my mind that he's not dog shit. Like, they straight up just gave him that. Dude, the tank bigs we got 13 there. To each end might have been able to take that to the house. Now Lawrence. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. And how's that a rush? At the, how's that not passing yards? What? And now they'll throw it with Lawrence. So oh, guess who that is? That's our main receiver. Oh. Well, hang on here a second. 
second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. My hit Isaiah Likely in the flats? No, nope, flats definitely not there. Of course I throw it to the wrong slam because the AI is just the most fucking broken thing. Like, you, when you think they'll cover one slam, they just cover the opposite slam you think that they would cover. Get off me, Michael Pittman! Oh, baby. Hell uh, yeah. And the Jags go up by two touchdowns. Now McManus for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So this drive spans seven plays. And it was capped off on the touchdown catch by Michael Pittman. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. So now we get set to see Houston for their second drive of the ball game. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter, you get points on the Yeah, court. hurry, hurry, dude. I'm not even concerned. Nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. They go again with Pierce. Oh, he didn't. Dude, how can you tell me he got that? No shot, he did. You got fucking stuffed. Take a shot downfield. It's a great spot for it. I'd say maybe later in the game, definitely in the second half. But right now, I think they were just trying to get some momentum built. Get a first down, pick it up, and keep it. Oh, baby. The first down run as he takes this forward for about six. From the lineman to the guy running with it. That was a well executed first down by the offense. With two shots left to get the first, you can get a little aggressive here on second down if you want. And try for some bigger yardage. Stuffed. Maybe a yard up to the 43. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. And they'll run it. This is James. Stuffed. He tackled about two yards shy of the line to get He ain't going anywhere. On fourth down, out is the punter Cameron Johnston to move it away. Yeah, I know that was a dumb decision, but you know, when you watch my videos, you already know there's nothing smart about my gameplay. Absolutely nothing. You should just always expect sheer stupidity. Fred on red. Sure. It has been about as perfect of a start to this game as these guys could have asked for, Charles. They've scored on their first two drives. They still haven't given anything up on the other side of the ball, so they can already make this a three Wheel route could be, wheel route could be there. Wheel route is typically broken. Wheel route is absolutely not there. How's he gonna do? Dude, first of all, you didn't even run your fucking route, Jerry Judy. You're supposed to be on a drag. No, it's actually Gabe Davis on a drag. I just read that completely wrong. There's no way I just threw out the tank of Bigsby and that fucking worked out. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> That's how I'm feeling. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. I might take a shot at the end zone. Then they get a chance I to continue. could have it. Jesus Christ. I, 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 I would have had it if, you know, the O-line would do their only job, a.k.a. fucking block. 
But now they got deep safeties. So I, so I won't have the shot to the end zone. But I got my tight end, Isaiah Likely, though. That's what I do got. Gabe Davis, Michael Pittman. Oh, there's Gabe Davis. Houston's going to need it. Damian Pierce. Well, it's, it's not a bad season. I won't say it's fantastic. It's not anything out of this world, but it's a good year for Damian Pierce right now. Oh, he's going to throw it towards Tyson Campbell. That is what we like to call ballsy because this guy has 22 interceptions. Oh, sh yeah, I should have been on that one better. Oh, that's a pick. Nick Cross. Yep. Yeah, baby. You gotta work the sidelines here. Oh, dude. You know, I'll call no huddle. And maybe hit Jerry Judy down the seam. I'm gonna high point it. Judy! Let's go! Three points, my ass. You know, smart man would just, you know, take his points, but you know what? Like I said before, you if you watch these live streams, you know I'm not smart. You know I'm not intelligent. You know I don't take my points. We just always go for it. That's why you go for it. It just it just works. There is Gabe Davis. There's really no need to take PATs either. And we start the second half on defense. Let's lock up, boys. Pierce try to go to the outside, and we stop him. No chance in hell. Jalen Phillips told him no. Oh, so, oh my god. So first down in 10, we, Jalen Phillips stuffs Damian Pierce for a loss of four, and then this man just runs the ball down our throat for like 20 yards. Damn. You don't want to talk about revenge. Oh, baby. You ain't going to get away with that. Dude just took a drag over the middle and I saw that coming. We just laid the boom on him. Oh, I was about to say that's out of range of me because it was. But you know who it was not out of range of? Our boy Nick Cross. Second interception of the game for Nick Cross. And damn, he's looking great. Tank Bixby is dog shit. Like, there's, there's just no other way to put it. I don't think he's batting really. He's just terrible on batting. Oh, yeah, that's a first down. 
Easy, guess who it is? You guessed it. It's Jerry Judy again. We're skinny posts. I love running skinny posts. What are those uh, on Jerry Judy? Oh, yeah, it's runoff Lee and wide receiver apprentice. Yoink. Give me that. Inside post route. <clears throat> but post routes are always inside. What am I talking about? Play action. Who, who's down this? Oh, it's the tight end. No, oh, there's Isaiah Likely. Wide open. Easy. Down the seam. Yeah, last two drives, CJ Shaw has thrown two interceptions. Both of them to Nick Cross. Dude, I want to run, I want to get to Danny Pierce much better. I just didn't run the route efficiently. I shouldn't say route because I wasn't trying to play defense or anything. I'm going to come in with Nick Cross, assuming it's a run. <gasps> yeah, I busted that run so good. I just missed the tackle. Damn, they just let me have Damian Pierce. They, just, they wanted me to have him. That's crazy. Oh, I thought they were going to pass it back to the outside receiver. They didn't, but I didn't want to break off my zone either. You know, maybe if I was in uh, my normal Tampa 2 for zone, I would have been, been a pick. But I was not in the normal Tampa 2. Did you drive him forward? Of course you did. Classic Madden animations. Whatever. Good tackle with St. Just. Who's number 12? Is this Tank Dell? Nice stuff, Chase Young. So I was not defending Tank Dell. I don't know who 12 is. Who's 12 on Houston? Oh, that's mine. Oh, does Tyson Campbell not want to jump, please? Like, I know you already have 22 interceptions this year, but, like, are you shitting me? Like... Can I not jump there? Oh, I forgot about Nico Collins. That's hilarious. The one time I didn't... I get it, this was zone coverage. But, like, I can't be defending two or three people at a time. Like, if two people enter my zone, like, I can't defend both. God. Yeah. Okay, Jerry Judy, you are him. You are making everybody your bitch. And I love seeing it. I, I just do. I, I, I would straight up be lying to myself if I said I didn't. I, I love it. Ralph Ralph. Can, can you tell me what that is? Oh, I just ran into him. I just, I just stepped back and just ran into him. I know, not, not my best play, definitely not. Wide receiver apprentice dropped. See, like, if I'm not gonna complete a pass, 
like I just, only thing I asked for the game is to be realistic. Like they said, I that Jerry Judy dropped that pass. Like no, he didn't. Like he was clearly deflected. What the absolute fucking shit is that, Trevor Lawrence? They never lock up the crossing route, so I'm going to throw the crossing route. Oh my god, that was so ballsy. Holy shit, that probably should have been deflected by, by the linebacker. But he didn't deflect it, and guess what? He sucks. That safety sucks. He couldn't even pick that off. Pretty sure that's Jalen Petrie there. Maybe, maybe Isaiah likely wheel route might be there. Nope, absolutely not. Oh my god, that is what we call a legitimate dropped pass. Holy shit, Jerry. We got Isaiah Likely, we got Tank Bigsby on the angle on the angle route. Is, was that zone or man? If it's zone, there's no way Stingley should have been there. It was zone. There's no way Derek Stingley should have been there. If it was man, well, it makes more sense for him to be in that spot in zone than man, but it still makes no sense how he was there. Oh, I was hoping the safety would have came down. No, I should still have Pittman. Damn right I have Michael Pittman. Hell yeah. What a, what a laser beam from Trevor Lawrence. Oh. I'm just breaking my phone right now, so that's sick. I don't know what I'm doing. After the touchdown, Cook now to kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. And now out comes Houston. This has been frustrating for them to this point. They have not looked the same as they did coming in, riding that impressive six-game win streak. No, oh, my noise is so stuffed. Holy shit. <laughs> God damn. Yo, d dude, I was legitimately right. Dude, who's number five? Whoever number five is, was straight up right fucking front of the ball, and he just gave up on it. I want to say it's Siobhan Walker. No, it's not. Now Stroud. All right, there, there's number five. This is, I want to say it's Sante Samuel Jr. No, it's Andre Sisko. What the fuck was that last time, Andre? Well, they have to pass. They can't run if they want to win. Oh, dude. I'm not saying that should have been a pick, but the one thing I'm so confused is how does Tyson Campbell have 22 interceptions through through 11 games like he has 11 he has 22 picks through 11 games but yet he doesn't have but he didn't get a breakout challenge like it's so confusing like you would think that not only would he gone to breakout challenge but like you would think the guy would probably be like superstar development you, you're probably thinking the guy probably you could arguably say the guy should be superstar X Factor already after the season he's having like, you can make the case he might, he really should be Superstar X Factor right now. How on earth he's not even Superstar is what we like to call blasphemy. Mine, get your ass out of bounds. Tyson Campbell. Oh, boy, we stuffed, we stuffed that. 
Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth corner of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football. Oh, you don't, you don't say. Forty-two to seven is almost as one-sided of an ass whooping as an ass whooping can get. Wow, he just fucking beamed that over the middle. Robert Woods. Damn, we're letting all that. We're letting like thirty-five-year-old Robert Woods cook us. Oh, I meant to press square. Um, well, it's not that I meant to press square. I did press square. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. Here comes the Jaguars offense as they get set to go again. Jerry Judy, just a late nine catches 173 yards. Um, let's do that. Let's put, no, let's put Pittman on a slant. But let's put Jerry Judy on a post route. Maybe if Trevor Lawrence, see the, like, I know, like, the, the type of passing I have that I use is a uh, freeform passing, which is the best way, this is, like, the best passing, like, there's, like, three different options for passing, freeform passing is probably the best, your best option for this year, but the one downside to freeform passing is you can't low pass, and you're probably wondering, why would you want a low pass? Low pass can come in, it's very situational, but low pass can be very useful. Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you Wide open. Jerry Judy, pass midfield. Hell yeah. He's probably, he's gotta be over 200 yards. Yeah, he's at 214 right now. Now it looks like he'll throw here. This throw caught right around the six. And down he goes, taking it inside the ten, just shy of the five at the six. Here's Lawrence. And this will be caught. Yep. Trevor Lawrence on our passing touchdown. And guess who we find again for an our touchdown? Jerry Judy. Because he's the go. Oh, I've got to do strong onside. Damn. Wow, he hung on to that. No, of course it's Robert Woods. Who else but Robert Woods for him at this at this rate? Holy shit! Dude, someone better check for like stick him or something, because I, I refuse to believe he makes that. Like, that's crazy. Tyson Campbell, we lay out Robert Woods. Damn, that was aggressive from my from from the game. Holy shit! All right, maybe he throw my way. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, and Robert Woods. Okay, so Robert Woods can catch that, but he makes some of the best crazy catches this game. Huh. Interesting. Mine. Yay, Tyson Campbell. Oh. Oh. Yes, that, that's a great way to end it, end this game. 
Interception number 23 for Tyson Campbell on the year. Thank you very much. Man, I was so close to 500 passing goes with Lawrence this game. That's unfortunate. It is what it is. Sante Samuel Jr. gets an upgrade. Um, his zone's almost at 90, so I'll just keep on giving him zone until he hits 90. Plus three. Well, he's at 89 zone, so sooner rather than later, we're going to bump up his man. Um, re QB breakout? Oh, shit. I didn't even know he had, oh, I didn't even know there was even a breakout challenge. Oh, okay, so I'm glad ETN got hurt because I was going to be running that ball. Well, Travis ETN getting hurt last game was a, um, a blessing in disguise, as we like to say. That honestly couldn't work out any better. That's, that's great. We'll give him field general here. Just get plus one medium accuracy. Or throw accuracy mid. Yep, perfect. He's at 90. Oh, yeah. Travis Etienne's already back. Do I have auto scouting on? I really hope I do, because I don't know how to... Do I hate how they changed scouting? It was so easy. And now they just changed it, and now I just don't know how, I'm, how to scout manually this year. Or like the past couple Maddens. Ever since they changed it. It used to be as simple as they come. And now it's just... For some people, it might be extremely easy. To me, it's complicated as all hell. Um, Jalen Phillips, 89 finesse moves. Kevin Roy. What the hell? Kevin Roy ain't alright. What the hell? <sighs> Anton Harrison. Rookie left tackle. Let's get that pass blocking up. Man, not really sure. Cool. Cool beans, man. Cool dog. Well, we moved to 11 and 0 breakout DB. It's is it finally Tyson Campbell's week? Nope. But this could be very good. This could be very, very good. Yeah, we're not going to hold Joe Burrow on the Bengals to less than 150 yards. There's just no shot. Quarterback duel. Marquee QB matchup this week between Joe Burrow and Trevor Lawrence. Who are you expecting to step up? Um. Well, Trevor Lawrence doesn't need to step it up. He's very good. Um. The defense has been 
elite. It's probably been the best defense all year. Trevor Lawrence has been arguably the best QB, arguably, this year. So, like, it's not like neither can step up. But if, I'm, if I was forced to pick an option there, no doubt in my mind, I was absolutely picking the defense. I could get Nick Cross superstar development in this game. If that happens, I don't think you guys like understand how big that is. Yeah, I know Jerry Judy can use something like deep route running, which I want to give him. But if I get the 90 overall playmaker, route technician is just too good. So I just can't pass on that Gabe Davis just going deep threat even though he's not an outside receiver for us it's just mostly to get his overall up plus one speed plus two finesse moves that is a terrifying upgrade for Will Anderson holy shit that is actually legit that's what we call legitimately freaky. Of course, we're going to save before every game just because uh, you never know. Not, not Jags franchise, of course, because that's my on-stream thing. But I just tried to play Madden one yesterday. I just started a Rams rebuild knowing that... Um, what is it that um, the roster update came out yesterday so I was like oh let me just check out the roster update I'm gonna try to hop into a game and immediately I picked I picked my play second I snapped it game just crashed don't know why but that's why you should save before every game because you never know what's gonna happen but this is this is a big game very big game against the Bengals. Our strong safety Nick Cross could get superstar development this game. So we will try to make it happen. T Higgins. Yep. Hey, it's already getting chippy this game. I like it. Where's Jamar? We're going to walk down Jamar Chase. I should have picked it. Like, I swear, I, like, I swear, like, my triangle bind doesn't even work, like, half the time. Like, half the time, I'm straight up holding it, and they just have no reaction. Oh, yeah, he wasn't getting anywhere. Let's go! Jalen Phillips didn't get quite, didn't get at the sack just quite. But we did get enough pressure to force an incomplete. Oh, I tried to cut back. Oh, I forgot. The L2 button is the hard cut. Oh, could have been so much more. It's like I want to run with ETN, but at the same time, like, I want the Trevor Lawrence to just out-duel Joe Burrow. Yeah, Travis ETN is just very good on this game. He only, he only has 91 speed. 91 speed isn't slow, obviously, but, like, for being a very good running back on this game, how? Dude. I'm not gonna lie, I get it, injuries are supposed to be like a part of the game, it's supposed to be realistic, but dude, like this is this is just utterly ridiculous. It's utterly ridiculous. This guy finds a way to get hurt every game. 
at this rate, it, they might as well just say torn ACL, honestly. So I don't even have to worry about the guy. His injury rating's a 99. Which means he's supposed to get hurt very rarely, if, if not at all. How on earth this guy gets hurt every game is ridiculous. There's Gabe Davis. Putting it on the outside. Could have him one on one. Torn labrum. Oh, you, you gotta be shitting me. Yeah, I knew. I fucking knew it. What a dumb shit I am. Oh. <laughs> You know what? You know what? I understand. Maybe I should have never tried to strip the ball away from number 23 with an offensive lineman. Like, yeah, I should have never stripped the ball. But you're going to tell me a guy that's like at least 300 pounds, even though, even though I try to strip him, not legitimately tackle him. You're gonna tell me somebody that's 300 pounds who's trying to rip the ball away from a, from somebody that's like 180 at the most. Not only is he not gonna fumble, but if he's not gonna fumble, you're gonna tell me he's gonna fucking hold, he's just not gonna go down? That's the biggest bullshit I've seen in my life. Damn, I love when I have no fucking protection. Y'all are fucking great, yeah, keep, keep up the great work, you douchebags. You fucking idiots. Second and ten. Here we go. They go play action now. Lawrence. This will complete to Jerry Judy. And they work this well up field across the 45. And the Jaguars first down. First and ten. Now Lawrence on first down. Escaping the pressure right. Oh my god, so congested, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Jesus. Oh, oh my fucking god. Like, I, I, I'm lost. Like, I, 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 I can't fucking believe it. No fucking way. See, this is when the game try. Dude, they, they know that Cincinnati is so dog shit that they're trying to bail them out any which way they can. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. Like, what the fuck is that? I tell you to run right, and you're fucking running zigzags like you don't know what you're fucking doing, you dipshit. Dude, I can I can find like a blind grandmother that could fucking run smarter than that. And now it brings up fourth down. I got him, I got him. They're going on fourth down, Lawrence. Okay, what's the fucking point of gunslinger if you can't even throw the ball off? Oh, I got, I, I'm not saying that I should not, uh, this game is so fucking stupid. <gasps> no way! They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Short throw to Smith. 
The numbers there in last week's game for Smith. Five catches, 54 yards. And I'd certainly expect them to use him quite a bit because he runs excellent routes, has good hands, and knows how to get open. Second down, here's Burrow. What is that? Are you fucking shaming? No, 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 no. I know. Y'all are probably going to say, oh, you did that because you know you were going to go down 14 nothing. You knew you were going to lose. That's why you quit. Like, dog. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Explain to me. But look at you. Dude, this shit that I'm moving right now just, just went berserk. Dude, this control is like fucking broken. Like, how am I supposed to play a game when I can't even fucking control my own fucking self? Like, I couldn't even, like, dude, like, I had to restart the game, like, dude, like, my fucking thing was bugging out completely. Like, dude, like, I, like, I baited Joe Burrow to throw a ball to T. Higgins, and then the second he throws it to T. Higgins, I was player locked as Tyson Campbell, and then next thing you know, he does a juke move. Like, he's a, he's a defensive back. Like I like I real I couldn't even move my own guy properly. Like even though I was about to go down fourteen nothing and it would have been bad for me, I was gonna come back. No problem. I had faith I would. But like but seeing that was just stupid. ETN rushing for twenty four yards. I guess the only benefit to really restarting the game because I didn't care if I was down 28 nothing. I would have just taken the loss. So, I didn't care. I guess, the, I guess really the only benefit of restarting because of me doing a juke move when I did nothing as a defensive back, the only benefit to that is I guess Travis Etienne is not injured. But besides that, there's really no benefit. Play action screen pass. That is might be like one of the what? Yeah, maybe if fucking Michael Pittman knew how to, you know, turn ASAP instead of just wait and take a fucking hit like a dumb shit. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence got fucking legs. Um, honestly, I'm going to run two clock the entire game because our strong shade is yet to start development this game, but we have to hold. Here needs two forced fumbles, two interceptions, or two interceptions, two TFL. So he either has the option of two tackles for loss, two interceptions, or so he has one. So there's two things I can do. Option one is just hold Joe Burrow under 150 yards, and the other option is a one of three between two tackles for loss, two interceptions, and, or the or the third option would be uh, two um, forced fumbles. Knowing that two forced fumbles is very unlikely, two tackles for loss for a strong safety is very unlikely. And two interceptions is very unlikely for anybody. Never mind for a safety. Don't know why I juked in words. Another shot from the one on second and goal. 
much here. This Bengal defense, they passed the first two tests. Now it's third and goal. They'll try to run with ETN. I get it, you're a receiver, Jerry Judy, but you cannot. What a fucking disgrace you are when you block. I get it. I get it. You're a receiver, not an offensive lineman. You're not a tight end, but still, you're telling me you can't block somebody your own weight for like two seconds. Shooting an entire quarter off for for clock. Oh, he wanted T. Higgins. I would have been on that because that was my zone. Ain't no way Joe Burrow was doing shit there. Aussie, if they want to run the ball, then sure, go ahead. One quarter down, and Joe Burrow has zero passing yards. Joe Burrow only needs to average 50 passing yards a quarter, which seems like a pretty damn good possibility. Oh, I th oh my God, he got blown up. Was it change just? Yeah, it was. Benjamin St. Just. What a hit. Now it's Burrow. That's just so hella unrealistic. Like, Irv Smith Jr. is not going to get that open, I'll tell you that. Yeah, destroyed. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Going to the air on the opening drive, and he'll take it from the 18 to the 15. A gain of three. Nice deflection, Benjamin St. Just. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if it's fake. This very well could be a fake. And I'm prepared for it. it wasn't a fake, but I was actually prepared for it. Dude, you're, you have one purpose as an offensive lineman. 
just block. Like, well, that was pathetic. Like, I could do better than that. Good carry. Oh, my tight end's injured. Sorry, Isaiah Likely. My bad, dog. Well, why am I trying to say my bad? Like, I'm the reason why he got hurt. I don't feel bad for the guy whatsoever. Well, well that's another injury. Oh, my God. This guy is hobbling, dude. For Christ's sake. Oh, wait, what could have won? What could have won on there? Surprised it wasn't a Travis Etienne injury for once. Oh, he, Isaiah likely pulled his groin. Sick. Two minute warning, up seven to three. We're just going to run the ball. The more we keep Joe Burrow off the field, the better, because it would just be easier for me to get my strong safety superstar development. So, I know, it might be a coward move to just run the ball, true clock. But you know what? It works. I could have easily scored a touchdown, but I just want to keep Joe Burrow off the field. And it doesn't matter, because ETN's still getting his yards anyway. Yeah, he's going to run the ball some more. Oh, I almost got the D-line to jump. Yeah, I know, it could be easy touchdown, but just kill some time off. Kill the time. Who stuffed him? Oh, you know what? I'll catch him off guard with a stretch. They might not see the stretch coming. Hell no, they didn't see the stretch coming. Yep, time expires in the first half. And, yeah. I kicked off right. Pretty sure I kicked off the first half. We'll do run inside. Defend short pass. No, I received first half. Mm, I don't believe that, but sure. Dude, illegal contact is the fucking dumbest shit this year. Like, I, I'm not even running into it. Like, they're calling illegal contact, but the problem is, I'm not even touching him. He's running into me. Like, he's running into me, and they're saying it's a flag on me. Like, if the guy didn't run into me, there wouldn't be a flag. The flag is because he's running into me. Yeah, ball don't lie, bum. Give me that pick six. Oh, so oh, not a pick six. Oh, shit. Damn, I got too cocky. I got too cocky on that. Definitely not a pick six. But you know what? It doesn't matter. Travis Etienne gets down to the one-yard line. Absolute monster. You know what? When in doubt, stretch it out. Let's 
Yeah, maybe if, you know, that guy wanted to, you know, make a better block, that would have been cool, but I guess you don't get what you always ask for, don't you? He didn't get in? What? Well, he is now. Oh, I might have shanked that. Pretty damn close to shanking that. No run back here for Jones. A touchback. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. I kind of feel like they've reached a do or die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Oh, that was just a terrible, and I mean terrible, just reaction by Tyson Campbell. It's crazy, because if he threw that and I was playing off this Tyson Campbell, no freaking way. Like, never. Oh, I was full back dive. He got me. He got me. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Bengals get a bit closer. If I call a fair catch there and it wasn't down at the one, how on earth is that a touchback? If it's not down at the one, it would be a safety. I could easily get a first down, but I want to get a first down while killing as much time as possible. Because Joe Brown's got 123 yards. If he gets 150, I practically fail the challenge. So, we don't want to pick up first downs immediately. We probably want to, you know, do I get on like third down, fourth down, anything but first down on it. Because if it's a pass and it's an incomplete, clock stops. So, we don't want to pass because that could be potentially stops the clock. We don't want to, if we get a first down while running the ball, but it's on first down, that's not the ideal either because we want as many downs as possible to kill more clock. On third down, here's ETN. You guys are conductor of red zone dead eye, often dead eye. I want the hard cut, but I forgot I pressed the L2 line. <laughs> Go figure.
I want as many down as possible to kill the clock to start the fourth. So we could just start killing the clock this quarter already by, of course, running the ball. Yep, we're just going to dive forward. Yup. This is honestly just killing the clock at its finest. Oh, dude, injuries worst case scenario, man. Now hang on here a second. Looks like a Jaguar in some obvious discomfort from that last play. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Yep, they ain't got many yards. But at the end of the day, we still got the first, which means even more time to kill, which is even better. Now I just sit here. Of course, just wait till we get limited time. Nope. Nah, I was just way too delayed on mashing X. Don't know what I was doing, but I was for sure slacking. <laughs> Got the first. This is just great time killing. Like I said, some people might think this is cowardice. I think this is just big brain. Jermaine Pratt, dude. No matter who gets injured, whether somebody from our team or their team, injury is worst case scenario because it stops the clock. The medical staff is going to come out here and take a look, and we will take a short break. Now he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they get a little bit of a win there, but let's face it, the vision that he's had running the football is curious. Yeah, just run as far back as possible, Parker Washington. Atta boy. We'll let it run. We'll let it run to two minute warning. Yep. It's a damn golf getting swallowed up. Oh yeah, I forgot. They're gonna start calling timeouts, aren't they? <laughs> Should really start going for the first down, sure and I. Would have been a first down it, if I could have explored through the hole quick enough, but I didn't. First down end game. He hung on. What a fucking G. Hell yeah. Now we just knee it out. And just like that, elite time killing, Joe Burrow does not hit 150 passing yards, which means 
Nick Cross will complete his development, his breakout challenge, and therefore will become superstar development. going to put Saul in the wound to end the game with Travis Etienne getting himself what we like to call another touchdown. Pretty sick nasty if you ask me. Yeah, of course. I keep off again to go strong on side. Whatever. Oh, we recovered the odds. No, we didn't. But Joe Burrow had 123 passing yards. Yeah, um, we just shut him down. It's as simple as that. Trash ETN, 35 carries, 168 yards, four touchdowns. Yeah. We just did what we were supposed to do. It's as simple as that. And now Nick Cross is going to be superstar development, so, um, that's always good. We're going to start giving Travis Etienne power back soon. Um, if he's going to get speed upgrade from um, Arusha back, we might not touch fucking power back. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. You see Nick Cross out there? That's not a fluke. That guy's a big time talent. Um... He really did nothing that game. He only got the development trade upgrade just because we because we just fucking shut down Joe Burrow. One new injury. Who got injured? Oh, as I say, like four weeks. Talk. How's a groin injury four weeks? Dude, someone like DeAndre Swift, like, I forgot if it was last year or two years ago when he was in Detroit. Like, dude. Like, straight up. Like, I remember when he was, like, top five in fantasy, and then and then he got his groin injury. It's not like he was out of action. Like, like if he was out of action, it was, like, only one week at a time. It was, like, he played, and then, it was like, then he got his groin injury, then he would miss next week, and then he would miss, he would miss the next game. But then the game after that, he would play on limited snaps, then he would miss the game after that, then come back for limited snaps. Like, not only did he never miss multiple weeks, if he would have, it would have never been like, it was would have never been four games. So like, for a pulled groin on this game, if you, for somebody missed four games for pulling their groin is ridiculous. Nick Cross, Superstar Development. Nick Cross, Superstar Development. Twenty-two 
21 years old, 75 overall, superstar development. Only benefit to him is he's superstar development. He's 21 years old. But what makes him so good is he has 92 speed, 97 acceleration for a strong safety. So, like, it's pretty nice. 47 tackles, 26 total tackles, 21 assisted tackles for, for 47 total tackles. Three tackles for loss, four interceptions, three pass deflections. It's a pretty good year, pretty good year. Michael Pittman kind of wanted to be a better deep threat. 81 deep route running. I don't think that cuts it out, if I'm being honest. Yeah, plus two, that's, that's a nice upgrade right there. 90, he has, without boost, he has 96 catching, 95 catch traffic, 94 spectacular catch. Damn. Just make him a little bit faster and a little bit better of a route runner, and this guy is what we like to call on steroids. Nick Cross, recuperation. Not often is he be pressing players, but presses will able to recover from the effects of fatigue at an increased rate in between press. All right, yeah, maybe that's better than bench press. Oh, Dakota Prescott leads the league in um, passing yards. Or is that sort of by completion percentage? Oh, it's by passing yards. Carol Lawrence, third in passing yards. First in touchdowns, second in passer rating. Travis Etienne leads the league in rushing yards, rushing touchdowns, and carries. Judy, Jerry Judy is third in receiving yards, first in touchdowns, but not even top 50 in, in catches. That's crazy. Dude, you're going to tell me Mahomes is MVP right now over ETN? This is a joke. Yo, Tyson Campbell is fifth place in MVP. There is no way a cornerback is top five in MVP voting. I've never seen this. Never. This is insanity. If he's if he's top five in MVP voting, he's got to be number one in defensive player of the year. Yeah, not even close. Holy shit. This is insanity. <laughs> what? I don't have anybody else up here for defensive... Player of the year. That's that's unfortunate. Best DB: Tyson Campbell, Asante Samuel is third, Nick Cross is fifth, Benjamin St. Just is sixth. We got four DBs up there. <laughs> Crazy. But I, I sure have never seen this. I, I, I can't believe it. We're what, week 14 or week 13? Yeah, I'm 12 and no, I've already had the bye week. Yeah, this is this is week fourteen, and we are saying that Tyson Campbell is top five in MVP. Holy shit!
Well, I'm, I'm just going to wrap up the stream right now, guys. If you enjoyed the stream today, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like. Just leave a like. Drop. Drop. Leave a like on the video. And with that being said, just stay safe. Have a good night.